Welcome to the live show on the internet. Yeah, yeah. You better know it, bitch. We highly appreciate you tuning in. As always, love and respect. Remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, yeah. We got a raw show for you tonight. Yes, we do. We gonna jump right into it. You know, I, I would probably, I would have been inclined to exercise some discretion had Mr. Bishop shown any remorse, uh, guilt, or regret throughout this process. And I saw nothing during the trial but for him laughing and cutting up and looking shocked and surprised at all of the testimony. Um, Mr. Bishop, you're a master manipulator and the, probably the classic definition of a narcissist like that I've ever seen. Um, you took advantage of these folks who were essentially lost souls looking for some guidance, looking for some connection or looking for some comfort. Um, and you were able to fill a void for them for some reason. But in the process, you completely took advantage of them and have caused potentially, I hope not, but potentially irreparable harm. I hope that all of the victims will be able in, at some point in time to recover from this and to find some type of peace in their lives. And maybe, maybe the, the, the verdict will help in that regard. Um, but I hope you all are able to move on at some point and, and find some peace, whatever that is for you. Um, so with that, um, I am going to follow the recommendation of the state in this case on the rape. He'll be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole, followed by 10 years consecutive for the false imprisonment. And on the internet porn, uh, count three, uh, 12 months to serve concurrent to the false imprisonment. The internet porn, I'll run concurrent to the false imprisonment. Um, internet five years, so it's 12 months on count three, five years on count four, and five years on count five. All of that will run concurrent to the false imprisonment, but the false imprisonment, imprisonment is consecutive, so it's life without parole plus 10 years. Um, and hopefully you will never be able to take advantage of anybody else again. Judge, can you be sure to go over his post condition rights with him as well as his? Yes. Just and Judge, before, um, I know there were certain conditions, uh, obviously, with the, the way the law currently exists in the court sentence, the defendant will not be out. Just in case the law changes in the future, we would ask that the conditions of no contact oh, with your victims and that the defendant may not profit financially in any way off of the facts that led to this um, okay. case. All right, Mr. Bishop, you're to have absolutely no contact, direct or indirect. That means sending any of your followers to contact them, um, getting any messages to them, no posting, no internet posting about them, um, no contact, direct or indirect, no phone calls, emails, no nothing, no visits to their homes, Nothing, zero, they don't exist anymore. And you are not to profit in any fashion from the crimes that you have committed. So no book deals for you, no movie rights, nothing. Nature boy, you gotta be a you big dummy. You gotta be, <laughs> yeah, but guess what? Yeah, when they taught you to pledge of allegiance, they also taught you what you say and what can be and will be held against you in a court of law. And guess what? All that motherfucking talking you did on them videos, it got you a motherfucking license plus 10. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, say it so. 
Say it ain't so. Yeah, you, yeah. They framed your motherfucking ass. Well, you framed your damn self, because guess what? You got on that bitch talking crazy as a motherfucker. I'm talking about they played a lot of sick shit that you were saying on the videos. And I mean, you even admitted to walking around your jits butt boonging. What kind of shit is that? Oh my God, what kind of shit is that? That is some fumbling ass shit that you did, man. I can't believe you said that on a motherfucking video, let alone doing it. And then you also admit it when you, after you get done making love to their mother, the, the jits used to come up there and used to allow them to touch you. What kind of sick ass nigga are you, man? You need to be executed right on sight. What kind of shit? What, yeah. What kind of shit is that? I'm trying to figure out why did everybody just ain't get a motherfucking life since? Because all the ass was around there when this shit was going down. Yeah, when he was doing all that fucked up ass shit, the dudes was there, the women and everybody was there witnessing it. Yeah, they were witnessing. Why the fuck they ain't get a life since? You see what I'm saying? But he's getting called a master manipulator. He's getting called a narcissist because he got a lot of confidence in himself and he got a whole tribe full of big dummies. Full of dummies. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, say it ain't so. Yeah, as you can see, it's against the law to have a whole bunch of dummies because at the end of the day, they're going to call you a master manipulator. Yeah, just like they doing motherfucking nature, boy. Now, as far as him taking some pussy for one of them women, if he did that, of course he's supposed to get the life sentence. If he walked around butt bunking and allowed his jits to touch on him, of course he's supposed to get a lot of sins. But anything else, it's them niggas' fault. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, say it ain't so. Yeah, it's they, it's they fault because at any given time, if they ain't like the meal they was getting, if they ain't like the treatment they was getting, if they ain't like the, the atmosphere, they was uh, allowed to leave. Yeah, they was allowed to leave. Even they'll tell you that. So you got to ask yourself and you got to ask them, why did they stick around? Why did they stick around? You see what I'm saying? If you're going to give him a life sentence because he was a manipulator, you got to do the same thing for the big dummies. Yeah, you got to give them a life sentence too. Yeah, because guess what? That can be detrimental for them out here in society. Because guess what? It's a lot of narcissists out here. So you mean to tell me every time they run into a narcissist, you going to get a narcissist a life sentence, but you ain't going to get them dummies a life sentence? Get the fuck out of here. What kind of sense do that make? I'm trying to figure out what kind of sense do that make. Now, Nature Boy, one thing about it, I can't hold, I, I can't hold nothing from you. Pause. But uh, you, you damn, you damn sure had your way with women. You kept them women around there, um, for quite some time, man. Yes, you did. But I'm gonna tell you where you went wrong with them women. You fucked around and um, got mad at one of them and did some whole shit. You lit the video. You see what I'm saying? You lit the video of y'all. You know what I mean? Doing whatever. And you put that bitch on Pornhub. And that's another reason why you got the life in. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, say it ain't so. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell you, yeah, Nature Boy, I got to let you know where them, ten, them extra 10 years came in from. She's saying that the confidence that you had and the lack of, uh, the lack of love that you showed for the victims and you was laughing and not taking this shit serious, she gave your ass an extra 10 years behind that, man. You see what I'm saying? Like I say, man, as far as him doing all those other crimes, as far as with his jits and uh, with the women taking something from him, of course, if he did that, he's supposed to get the life sentence. You see what I'm saying? I don't agree with the extra 10 years just because you think he's a narcissist. You see what I'm saying? Because that was some personal shit that the judge, you know what I mean, implemented on her own. But uh, as far as him manipulating Grown people, that's bullshit. With that being said, if you smell some stink, that's me. Urban Gossip TV, because we the shit. <laughs>